Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make kombucha from scratch. Um, it's a pretty simple project and I really recommend it. So here we go. So what you're going to need for this is tea bags, about eight. You need a large jar. I have a four liter bottle. You're also going to need your scoby mushroom, which you need for making kombucha, a measuring cup, a wooden spoon to stir with, a rubber band, and a paper towel. And also some sugar. You can use white sugar if you want. Alright, so first, what you want to do is boil water. You need about 14 or 16 cups. So, what you want to do once it's boiled is fill your jar up. You want to put, I measured out here, I did two cups each because that's how much my measuring cup can hold. So, I did two cups and I poured it in. And then I do that until my kettle is empty or until my jar is full. Alright, so once the water is boiled, I'm just going to grab my towel because it's pretty hot. And I'm going to add my remaining 4 or 6 cups of hot water. Now the water does not need to be boiling, it just needs to be hot. So, mine was not at boiling, like the kettle was not whistling or hissing. So I'll add my... 16 cups yeah. Now once you complete this step What you're gonna do is put in your tea bags now. I have eight So if you want to flavor your kombucha, you can put um, You just put plain black tea and then you put either Ginger or berries or whatever you want in it this is my second batch I've made. The first one I did chai, just plain, and we had just took it out of the bottle that same day. So here I am taking out the eight tea bags. Now I'm going to put each one in and I do drop a few of the strings in there by accident. And then you want to let this sit for about 10 minutes to boil or to steep I should say all right so now that that is in there you want to add your sugar now you can do this before or after it doesn't really matter I think it's better before because then the tea bags aren't in your way I just forgot so you're gonna need one cup of sugar now I'm using an organic sugar, you don't need to. White sugar may work better, but it's just what we have. So I'm sure one cup sounds like a lot of sugar, but the thing is this drink needs to ferment for about seven to 30 days in a warm location out of direct contact from sunlight. So uh, when you put your SCOBY mushroom in there, that will, it'll eat off the sugar to ferment your drink. So, it sounds like a lot, I know, but just trust me because it will be fermenting. Now, for my first batch, we fermented it for about two weeks and it did get fizzy naturally. 
So, yeah, if you were wondering about that. And make sure you use a wooden spoon for this, because you don't want any metal residue at all in there, because metal will kill your scoby. So, yeah, once you finish this step, you, what you want to do is let this sit, leave the tea bags for 10 minutes, and then let it cool down to room temperature before adding your scoby, or else you'll kill it. And then I'll see you in the second part. Alright, so now I'm going to add the scoby. So there it is in my glass container. So I'm going to pour it in. Now, when I pour it in, there is some kombucha from the last batch. Um, about a cup. You need to have some from your last batch in order for it to work. So now I'm just going to clean that container out so that afterwards, when I'm done this batch, I can put it in and I know it'll be clean. So now, I'm going to cover it. For this, I'm just using that paper towel and the elastic. I have two things of paper towel folded over each other. I'm just going to seal it. It looks like a classical jam jar or something you might see. Alright, so there it is. That's how you make kombucha. It's very easy. And it tastes great, I can tell you that. Now, once you finish that, you just want to store it in a warm environment that's out of direct contact from sunlight. For, like I said before, about 7 to 30 days, depending on how strong you want it. I did mine for about 2 weeks, and it turned out great. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.